Hello guys, this is a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This reading is for May 21st through May 31st. I hope everybody is doing well. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and get started with the Celtic Cross. I'm seeing cards want to jump out here. Um, hmm. I feel like something feels out of place for you. It's almost like things are feeling a little um, out of whack for you guys. Let's see. Celtic Cross here. Queen of Wands energy. Uh, this could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius individual. Or this is just your energy of feeling um, very confident but at the same time wanting to start something eager to start something here okay I feel like you also uh, have a lot on your plate there's a lot that you are responsible for and it's like I'm feeling like a almost scrambling to keep things in check here okay crossing you is a seven of cups energy um, Scorpio energy for sure this is really not knowing how to feel about a situation um, a little confusion surrounding you I feel I, I, like I, I'm getting that there's a lot that that you are trying to figure out a lot that you are trying to push through um, just trying to make something happen and not really being sure about how you feel about that okay or not really sure how you feel about a person okay the underlying issue here is the devil that wanted to come out um, I feel there is a very strong attachment to someone here um, this is all about you know just overdoing things or toxicity in a relationship this could even be overworking anything that you're overdoing that's not really that good for you could also be a Capricorn individual for some of you okay but this is the underlying issue here I feel like there is somebody that you are um, being drawn to and I'm not sure that you really are comfortable with that I'm not sure because I'm getting this this sense that um, maybe you, some of you guys detached from someone before but now it's like you are being drawn back into that person and I don't feel that you're comfortable um, with that and it may be an Aries Leo Sagittarius person that um, you're feeling so drawn to right now and it's making you a little uncomfortable is what I'm getting okay let's see the past recent past ace of wands I'm, I'm thinking that this is you guys like um, feeling attracted to someone again there's a newness here there's a new beginning there's a new way of doing things a new way of feeling a new way of acting even and I'm feeling there's a spark for somebody here or either this is somebody feeling this way about you guys feeling very drawn to you um, wanting you guys as an option here but I'm feeling that there was a, a lot of um, toxicity that was going on between the two of you okay let's see Your crowning thoughts here is a magician Hmm. This is you guys, I feel, wanting to make something happen with this queen. Trying to manifest something into your life, I feel. Wanting this person um, as an option, but still really not knowing how you feel about them. Because again, I'm getting that there, um, there's... There's, there was a toxic relationship here. Maybe some codependency. 
um, maybe some uh, mental manipulation even whether it's on your part or the other person's part but I'm definitely getting this is shared energy and sometimes when you're with somebody um, you know you guys just may not function well together but you could function you know extremely well with someone else so I'm getting that there was like a toxic mix here in the past with you and this person okay I'm feeling um, also Gemini Virgo uh, maybe Aquarius energy is here too what's coming in for Scorpio Queen of Cups this is Cancer energy um, could be a Pisces as well maybe another queer I mean um, uh, a Scorpio like yourself but this is somebody that um, this is somebody that has stipulations. I mean, this is a loving queen, but I'm feeling like this is your energy, to be honest with you. I feel like this is you, whether male or female. Um, it's like you're, you're not really sure about this person, and whether or not you offer love to them is dependent upon how this person receives you or how this person behaves towards you because you're not just going to freely give of yourself I feel until you see what this person has to offer what they're bringing to the table are they bringing this toxic energy if so it's like no it's closed because this queen you see has her hand over that cup it's like no not giving it to anybody and everybody um, not giving it unconditionally okay let's see how does Scorpio feel about this situation page of Pentacles I feel like you're ready to start anew you're ready to move forward you're ready to move forward here with this page of Pentacles. Um, I think you're ready. You're wanting to basically, um, you know, not jump right into things, but I think you're wanting to really kind of take things slow, see how things go, um, see if something can actually come of this connection. What is the influence for Scorpio? The Seven of Wands. I feel like this, you know, you want to take things slow because really and truly you're protecting yourself. Okay? You have certain standards, you have certain beliefs with this Seven of Wands energy. And you definitely want to be successful, I feel, with this individual. But first and foremost, you're wanting to protect yourself. And I feel like that's why you're not so eager to just say, yes, I love you. I am all in. You need to see what's actually going on in the situation before you just, you know, just be all in to this situation. Because you're not trying to get hurt. You're looking out for self first. You're doing things for yourself first and foremost. Putting yourself first. And that is the way um, I feel to be. Leo energy there. I feel um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energies here as well. Let's see. Oh, okay. Your hopes or fears. Oh, is a four of wands, a happy relationship, a stable relationship, your hope that there's no conflict, that this will be balanced, that we can get along. For some of you are some of you are even even wanting marriage, but I'm definitely getting, you know, you just want a very stable home and environment, a stable relationship. Um basically where both of you can just kind of kumbaya, you know, no conflict, no drama. What's the overall for Aries energy there? The overall for Scorpio. The overall for Scorpio. 
is a seven of swords. You have three sevens here. That's a very heavenly number. I feel like um, what, whatever's going on with this person or whatever has gone on with this person was meant to be. Um, there was definitely a lesson I feel like you guys were put together to learn from each other. Um, karma is definitely at play here, I feel. There was a karmic lesson that you guys um, were put together to learn to finish here. Okay. I do feel like there is somebody that is um, basically out for self. And I don't know if that is you guys or the other person, but um, there, there's definitely an energy where if things, and I'm feeling like this is more so you guys, because in this instance, I don't feel like the Seven of Swords is a horrible energy. I feel like this is more so you guys looking out for yourself. If the situation does not culminate in the way that you want it to, or a way that you feel like is healthy, that's stable, that's grounded, um, you're dipping. You're dipping. You know, I feel like you're doing what's best for you. And that's just the bottom line here. Um, I do feel like, you know, this situation is going to be kind of tricky for you. Because I feel like there is a lot of, um, or has been a lot of emotional and mental manipulation that has gone on between you and someone else here in this situation, okay? So that is the message that I have for you guys for the 21st or the 31st. And um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.